Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this isn't really um, a very detailed video, this is more just me trying to inform you guys where I'm at and uh, some of the stuff that I'm excited about and hopefully that you guys will get excited about. So um, I'm going to try and keep it semi-vague but also give as much detail as I can without giving too much away. Now uh, as you know the Eastern Front is a very interested area to me and I have well, let's, let, I'll give you a little preface about myself. My family comes from America. However, I had relatives who had stayed over in Germany. Now, my grandfather directly served with the U.S. and the Pacific. Some of my relatives who stayed over in Germany stayed and fought with the German army. And one of them was a World War I vet who proceeded into the Freikorps Corps and Reichswehr and then into the Wehrmacht. He ended up, at the very end of the war, becoming General of the Infantry, General der Infantry. Um, and continued until he died until uh, 1945, January 23rd. Now, I was, originally, the very first thing I was ever able to find about him was, aside from online articles and things like that, or very brief snippets, was this magazine article, which has a 11-page thing related to him. And I have just gone through and translated those 11 pages. I am waiting on a friend to come back and a German friend to make sure that what I have is accurate and proper, and I also have an Austrian friend uh, double-checking me on that. Now, after, well after this, um, some documents came into my possession, which I will show you here in a moment. Now, the most interesting thing I thought was this. Um, it's a book written about the division and their history, and it's very, very, very detailed. I've just briefly gone through. I've not translated this all yet. That is my next project. Um, the name Musculus came up many times, and I was trying to wonder where it sounded familiar from. Well, in this article, Musculus is mentioned many times. He is the artillery commander of the 117th uh, Artillery Regiment, which was attached to the 111th Division. And, as you see here, the name Musculus is there. Now, I was also able to find this over the years, which is a signed portrait, I guess, of him portrait photograph. But yeah, he went on to write the book. Um, and when I was flipping through the book, this was in there. It says April 1943, Bamanun Granaten, and like basically front colorful stage Tegenrog. Now, if you're not familiar with the 111th, they held Tegenrog for a very long time. And it was against very large odds. They were encircled, um, which is also where this comes from, which was actually titled to him by Manstein. Now, okay, I guess I'll go on to some of the other stuff. Uh, this came all together, not this, but this and these all came together. And they are Traditionsverbande for the 111th. I think there's eight of them, nine? Nine of them. So, originally I thought, when I just saw the book and this, maybe this came from a veteran in Germany who was in the unit or something, but when I found this brochure from whatever play this would have been from, or musical, whatever you say, I am almost certain how this came from a uh, veteran of the unit, not directly who I bought it from, but whoever sold it to me. Um, so very, very cool, very cool. Now, I thought, you know, this article and whatever, some of the stuff was pretty you know, turning the world, making the world feel a lot smaller than it normally had otherwise. I also found this. Now we're still only dealing with post-war sources, except for that one little paper in there. Uh, these were published in the 70s and 80s. Now this is something that was also, excuse me, sorry, I didn't mean to bump that. This was also published uh, post-war, and it is specifically about the artillery unit. However, at the back they also include maps. And... There he is, Hermann Rechnagel, uh, as well as many of the other commanders and important figures of the unit. I'm trying to, I thought they had one of Musculus in here as well. Stapf. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Gruner Stapf was the first one there. There's Stapf. And Bav. Anyways, so very cool. Um, and as well here, you can see how the division symbol changed, which is... You'll, you'll see. We'll, we'll put it like that. You, you'll all see, hopefully. If you stay tuned, you'll see. Um, and when I really thought things had gotten crazy, 
was when I found these documents related to him, signed for other soldiers and whatnot. So again, we're just kind of teasing stuff right now. I want to build some excitement here because my goal, and again, so if you're watching this, hopefully stay tuned, but my goal is by the end of the year to have everything recorded. And from there, I can make maybe a little sub-series with the other content, but the main thing is going to be reading off this translation from the magazine article. It was very, very well done. Then I found some photographs. It's a division stab meeting, 1942. And let's see here. General, oh geez, try not to fall everything. General Recknagel and uh, Div Stab Vinter 42. And I have that relocation pulled up. Well, again, maybe we can work something with doing maps in the video. I'm not sure exactly how I will present this video. I am hoping to make it roughly 30 to 40 minutes when it's all done. Um, and again, signs, so. Now, real quick, if you're like, well, how do you know that's his? Let's just look at these signatures again. So, no doubt in my mind, I am able to authenticate these now as well. And there is more that I haven't showed you, such as in here. Maybe you can see it out the corner. I'm only gonna, we're only gonna sneak it, you know? So there's other stuff, guys. I really hope you enjoy this and uh, stay tuned. I'm hoping to upload more videos as we go, but this is my, this is one of my big projects that I'm really excited for. So hopefully you guys will be too. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day, guys, and I'll see you soon.